Okay, everyone's muted. All right. Hi, guys. Kay Dixon here. Super pumped about tonight's Zoom. I have, as I have posted, I'm so excited on our team page, Amanda, by the way, like people are freaking out over your story and just your success and like everything you are accomplishing right now. And um, you guys, we have a really special guest on tonight. And Amanda, I just want to start this out by saying thank you for taking time out of this like busy, crazy promotion month as you are like on the run for Ambassador Diamond. Yeah, um, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Can you just say hello to everybody and just for our team that doesn't know you yet in your story, like just quickly, I told them you were a dental hygienist before, so just mm -hmm. even, like how you discovered it works and in, in the process over the last few years of how it's changed your life. Yeah, of course. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on. So my name's Amanda, um, and I started this business not even knowing that stuff like this even existed. Like, I literally had no idea, and um, I just started this business. It just kind of fell into my lap, and um, I was working as a hygienist, and we had one, we have two boys, but at the time we had one, his name was or his name is Jax, he's two years old, and a little bit of how our life looked is we were struggling, even though we made great money, um, still struggling because we had so many student loan debt, and when I say we, I mean I. I literally had over $120,000 of student loans, and, um, and I struggled, you know, we felt like we wanted so much more and we were, we had all these plans and all this stuff that we wanted to do, but we could never do it because we already would come in that month and the next day it was gone because it went to student loans, it went to bills, it went to all kinds of different things and, um, you know, that we had to pay. And my husband at the time, he was just getting into his career in 2009 and the economy was just horrible. And so my income really was the stability of, you know, our bills. And so on top of that, I really struggled emotionally, um, leaving my son at childcare. I felt like that mom, felt, I felt like somebody else was raising my son more than I was. So I complained a lot. I cried a lot. And, you know, I felt my son's, you know, um, sadness about it. And so it was just hard on me all around. Um, but I was just, I just, you know, the realization, I was just like, this is what it has to do. Like, I have to do this and husband gets his career up. So I thought, um, and so this is, just, you know, like when we want something so bad, like every day I would to like my husband, he probably got so sick of hearing me say this, but every day I was like, I want to stay home. Every day I would think it and I would just like wish it and I would just want, you know, more for us because that's just what we, you know, that was in our, in our hearts. And so just all of a sudden, you know, two years after my son was born, this business just fell into my lap. Like I said, I had no idea that you could even make money doing this. And um, I'm a little bit more on the shyer side when you meet me. So I'm not the most outgoing person. Um, and I had no idea what this was even about. I always like joke, I'm like you literally could not ice to somebody here in Arizona in the, in the summertime. Like I just could not, like I'm just not a salesperson. And so, um, but what it was, I wanted a change so bad. I was willing to try anything. And so when my friend came to me and she said, hey, you know, just a couple hundred dollars a month, I was just like, okay, sign me up, like let's do it. And I had the mindset of just making that $200 or $300 extra a month. And it quickly changed my first week when I went to an event. And so that's how I say, like, you guys, get yourselves to events. Like, any event that you can get to, get yourself to an event. Like the one that we have that we can live stream. You guys, if you can't make the actual event, get that live stream event. Because that is when my mindset and my heart completely changed. Because I had the mindset coming into this business of wanting two or three hundred dollars extra a month, but when I went to an event, I saw people who were just like me. They were moms. They were working. They were staying at home now. They they were nothing like they weren't these magical unicorns making all this money. They were normal people, and so I thought, man, like if they are doing this, like why can't like I am literally selling myself short, and so. I'm like, I don't want to make $200 a month. I want to make like, I want to retire my career. I want to be home with my child. And so I would just follow those people who are being successful. Those people that were doing it, those people who were showing up, those people who are making that money. I 
to a T. If they said that to do something that was working for them, I did exactly what they said. If they said to show up somewhere, I showed up somewhere. And um, within about four and a half months, I was making, so I went diamond in three months. Um, about a month and a half later, I went double diamond. Um, and then I went, uh, and I was more with uh, this business than I was a hygienist. So that year I went down one day a week. Um, I got pregnant with our second son. And then after we had him, um, I, I retired. So I've been retired now for over four years. Um, I'm a presidential company, I'm a presidential diamond in the company. And we just got my husband to presidential last month. And this month we're going ambassador. So, uh, you know, I think your mindset just has everything to do with this business, you know, and you know, and I know everyone says it, and Kay probably says this too, like 80% mindset, probably even maybe a little bit more than that. And then 20% work. And it truthfully is that you can't have your mindset. Um, you, you know, you, you can work as hard as you want as hard. Oh, is it cutting out or is it good? You're cutting out just a, a tiny bit and it's not, it's not that bad, but there are moments. Okay. Where it's like your, maybe your service is a little slow. Okay. Let me know. It just said unstable. So let me know. Um, but you can't have your mindset be like dead on, but not have the work behind it. Right. You have to have the work behind it too. But the same goes the other way. You can't be, you know, a huge enroller, put so much work into it and have a horrible mindset right? You're not going to go anywhere. You're just going to be in this wheel, like trying to go somewhere, but you can't. So you have to have both of them. Um, and so that's my story. I love it. And as you're writing, I'm like, Oh, I have a question. Okay. So, um, I write everything down. You guys, it's just a visual learning thing for me. So I mean, that I love this so much because you have two boys. You, I don't know if you guys realize the big deal it is that she not only promoted to Prez, but she also got her husband to Prez and is now fully charted and going ambassador. There's a lot of money there. So Amanda and bonuses total, like how much have y'all made in bonuses with it works? So we have made, um, over like $225,000 in bonuses. <laughs> so I think that we got, so when I went presidential, my husband was actually the triple for the presidential and we went presidential or I went presidential in May. And then they came out with a triple bonus in uh, May and June. So we missed that. But I was like, I don't even care. I'm like, I'm presidential and uh, he's triple, you know? So the bonuses are so amazing and I love them. Um, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going for, you know, for like, you know, that residual income for all that, all that good stuff that comes along with it. Yeah. But it's crazy. The bonuses that we have on our hands right now, like it's just insane. Yeah, it's a really amazing time. I mean, we know just from historically, we also know that February was the biggest month in company history. I don't know if you guys know that or heard that, but that is like public information is that that was our biggest month in company history. And so we are in momentum right now. This is a time period that we have prayed for, we have asked for, we have been building momentum for, and we're in the thick of it. So Let's talk about, Amanda, let's kind of work backwards here and let's first talk about this mindset piece because it is a big chunk of the whole puzzle and your mindset, I mean, we're in a chat together. We, uh, we are in each other's space on a daily basis and I do feed off of your energy. Your energy is powerful. It's fun. You say you were a shy person when you started, but I feel the exact opposite coming from you. I get a confident person who just deeply loves this business so much. So thank you for that. Um, so how do you get your mindset right? What are you doing on a daily basis to, to check that off your list? Because it's working. Yeah. So you guys, I didn't even know what self-development was when I got into this business. I had no idea. And I will say like, I am like, not so much now. This business has opened me up so much. And I really feel like God has laid this into like our lives so that I can be a voice for other people. Um, and just share. And that is why I am, you know, I feel like even if I don't feel confident, like I'm going to, I'm going to act like I'm confident. And that was how I was at the very beginning. Um, even though I wasn't confident about what I was going to say about a product or what I was going to say about how this business worked, I pretended I was the most confident person on the planet that I knew exactly what I was talking about. And, you know, and nobody even knew because they didn't know what I was talking about. But as long as my energy was there, as long as I was excited, I guarantee like those people just wanted to join my business because I was so excited about it. Um, but I will tell you, a huge shift in my business changed when I really 
dove into not just like I learned about self-development probably about a year and a half into my business and I did it. But I will say that a drastic, drastic part changed when I was triple and I was triple for a while. I was triple for probably like I went double. I lost my double for a while. It took me a whole year to get it back. And then right after I got it back, I went triple and I was triple for a while. Um, but I remember I was like, and I was doing self-development every day. My work ethic never changed. I was always, you know, a good, consistent, always worked. But the thing that changed my business and took me to presidential and to where I am now is completely 100% my mind. So my work never changed. It was just the, my mindset. And so I am big into Miracle Morning. And I don't know if you guys ha have heard of morning routines or read the book Miracle Morning, but as soon as I read that book, you guys, it completely changed my business. Um, it completely changed me as a mom, as a wife, as, you know, a person, um, because it changed my days. And so as soon as I started really plugging into myself and doing visualization and, you know, speaking words into myself, doing affirmations, not just self-development, not just, you know, I would just listen to a podcast or listen to a YouTube while I'm driving or read a book, but really doing visualization and writing down every day what my affirmations were, writing down what I wanted out of my day, what I wanted out of my month, what I wanted out of my year. Um, that's when my business just changed. And so I started that miracle morning and I started it last year and it was in October. I started it. So, or actually, sorry, um, not 2018, but a year of a year um, before that. And I remember it was, it was October and I started and my business just started to go up and up and up. And I got my triple or I started to get my triple back or that's when I started. I was double and going triple. So um, anyways, I, my business just started going up and I was like, holy cow, my enrollment started going up, but my work wasn't really changing. It was my mindset. And so then that, um, that March, my business was the highest it's ever, it was ever been. And then I went presidential in May. And so, and it was just because that self-development, I would listen to the secret every morning. I got my team to listen to the secret every morning. And if you guys don't know what a the secret is, it's, it's like a movie. You can do it on like Netflix or YouTube. Um, but it literally just is like what we think is how we live pretty much. What we say to ourselves and what's in our mind that's what we, that's how we're going to live. And so it just made it where every time I would think something negative, I'd be like, wait a second, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So I would, I would, I would quickly change that. And so my business just took off so fast. And ever since then, you guys, I would get anywhere. I was averaging probably my highest loyal customer ever was probably like 40 that I would get. And I remember I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. When I started doing that, my average customer rate, you guys, that I would get every single month for a whole year, what has it, it's been a year and a half now, I have never been less than 60 customers a month. It's normally between like 70 and over 100 customers every month. My lowest amount of customers I've gotten in the last year and a half, every single month has been 60. And so, and, and I remember it was, and I remember it was because there was something off with that month and, but 60 customers is still, you know, I was still proud of myself, but, um, you know, it's just that mindset that definitely makes a huge difference. Oh, I just love you even more. I mean, I feel like we could sit in a room together and have our like book collection and like, they would look the same. This is so great. I'm so excited. You're really inspiring me and I'm just so grateful. I, um, I feel like I need to go back to Miracle Morning. That's a, I have it on Audible. I'm like, why am I not living by this? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I love talking about it because it just, it literally is just what changed my business 100%. Yeah. And this is the piece that I feel is so key to just the everyday life. And my business coach, she asked me, she goes, are you doing your journaling every day? Like, are you sitting down and just writing that piece out? My mom and I were speaking earlier and she said, um, there's just something that happens when we put things on paper, when we write them down for what we want and we kind of speak them, we write them into existence. And so the question I got today was, what is my perfect day? What does that perfect day look like? So what is your perfect day? When you wake up every morning, it's so important for you guys. Maybe if you're night owls, it's fine. Do this before you go to bed. That's actually also a really good time to do it but write down in your journal what your perfect day is like. What does that perfect day look like? 
you changing your life and getting that promotion and getting that triple, that presidential, that ambassador promotion, what does that create? How does that make your life different? So what is that perfect day like? And like live in the space of what that is. And that's what Amanda's talking about. Um, just that, that think into existence. And so Amanda, isn't that so crucial? So how are, like, how do you feel about journaling and how do you feel about writing things down? Like, are you more of just a visual person in your mind? Do you just make sure that you take that time to yourself every day? Yeah. You know, journaling, when I first started doing the miracle morning, that's one of the things that is, you know, that's one of the steps is journaling. And I remember when I was reading that piece, I was like, Oh, well, this stinks. I, I don't like writing things down. And, but I will tell you, it is my favorite, favorite thing to do every single morning now, because it is so powerful. Like putting what we have in our mind and in our heart onto paper, like there's just something about it. Like there's just something so life changing about it. So daily changing about it. Like it is just so powerful and it doesn't seem that powerful until you do it. And, um, I do it every single morning, whether I have maybe a couple minutes to do it or a long time to really sit down and really journal things out. Um, but I will always write like, and I will just be complete like, you know, what do I want? Like, just what you said, what does my, my perfect day look like? What does my perfect month look like? Like, what do I want? Um, and I will just write like ambassador is going to come so easy to me this month. Ambassador is going to be a piece of cake. Like I'm going to wake up on the 25th and be ambassador. Um, you know, it's stuff like that, that, you know, is it going to come easy? Well, I'm going to work my butt off for it, but you know, is it going to, you know, that's what I want. That's what I want to speak, you know, and I, and I say like money comes easy to me. Like I love money. Like lo money loves me. You, you know, my team is amazing. Like they're going to hit their promotions. Like I just write everything that I want to happen. I write it down. Um, but then I also, you know, say, okay, well, how am I going to get there? Yes. You know, what am I going to do? You know, because we can wish and we can want and all that kind of stuff. But we need to put, like I said, that 20%, we need to put that action behind it. Yeah. So I'm huge. Sure. Really. You have yeah. to face our business like a business first, you know, it, but the mindset piece is crucial. And that's why I wanted to start with that because we've got to have our mind, right? Like it's different when you go into a day, isn't it so different when you've done your journaling or you've done your personal development or at least listen to that YouTube for 20 minutes while you were getting ready, your mindset shift is so crucial. So then when you're with your team and you're in your chats and you're putting out those messages on Facebook and you're following up, like your energy is so much more aligned with the success that you're going for that for big promotion at the end of this month. And we're in a promotion run like this time period right now, Amanda is a promotion run. And I know one of the biggest questions that people have when you talk about last month, specifically you enrolled hundred customers and 40 distributors to some that to some people, to be honest with you, you know that they would go into a total state of overwhelm at the thought of that. And for two reasons, one, how do you lead all those people? And two, like, how do you do that and still lead your team? And so I want to cover those topics today because we have mass enrollers on our team too. And I want to cover the leadership part, but I also want to first cover the how. What does a daily checklist look like for Amanda? Because you are a mom of two. For a lot of people, that piece alone would be a, a, a mindset shift they would have to take. Like, I'm going to still be a mom, but I'm still going to work my business. So what does a daily checklist look like for you is my first question. Yeah. So, well, right now, because this is a push month and last month was a push month, the very first thing like I did is I went to my family and I said, listen, guys, like mommy is going to be pushing this month. Like mommy's not going to be able to always do prayers with you every night. Like daddy's going to do some, you know, mommy's going to be on my phone more, but we're going to do this together. You know, we're going to, so I first include them in it so that they're fully aware that mommy's going to work. And at any time, if they're like, mom, like I want you to like the other day, like mom, I want you to go to karate. And I was like, but we have a huge promotion coming. Like we got to work together, you know? And so they are little, but they will understand as much as they can. And I'll say, okay guys, let's work with mommy. So I do include them first. Um, and so when my promotional months are going to look a little bit different, cause I am going to work more than what I typically would. But my biggest thing is I always say, get your office hours set. Like what are your hours? office hours. And so because I have little, little ones, I always set my office hours in the morning 
during like quiet time, like the middle of the day, and then at nighttime when they're sleeping. And so my morning is so crucial because that's what sets my day. If I don't do my morning routine, it honestly just throws my entire day off. And so I feel like I'm not as productive. My cup is not as full. Um, I'm, you know, I feel like I'm just not as organized. And I feel like I'm all over the place. And so I always make sure that my morning is completely 100% like it's about me my first hour before my kids even wake up. And even if I have a late night, you know, I'm still going to wake up at that at five o'clock before my kids wake up. And so, um, so I do wake up early and then I do, you know, I'm a mom, I'm a wife. Um, I still have a four year old, so he's not even in school yet. He goes to preschool a couple days. So I'll work, you know, um, when he's home, I'll do, we'll do quiet time and I work and then I work at nighttime. So I have my set hours, um, that I do work and, and it, everything changes, you know, as far as like what I do each or what I do doesn't change, but the time of time, day it does. The only thing that never changes is my morning routine that will never change. I do it every morning and it's something that I need for myself and my business. Yeah. So what, what are some of the, I love it because uh, I feel like uh, set hours are important for anybody, right? Because you started this business with a full-time job under your belt. You didn't have that, that piece. One of the questions in the chat was like, Oh my gosh, I'm kind of feeling overwhelmed because I'm brand new. And I just started and I'm like, Oh wait, we're going to cover all of this. Like, this is like a big piece to the puzzle because Amanda, just like I do, we have a lot of newbies on our team and you, you are so important to us, all of you. And we want to make sure that you feel like you're hitting those, those action steps too. So this is about, Amanda, this is about them. This is about them knowing that what, what you're doing is absolutely 100% possible. Your vision's just a lot bigger because you've been here a little bit longer and you see, you've seen a lot and you're growing into this big space and it's so exciting. And so when you look at that two hours you've set aside for your work, what's in that two hours? What does that look like for you? So I make sure that my, the hours that I have, whether there's an hour or two hours that it's just very intentional. So that might be like when I first started, I had to make a, like now I just know, but when I first started, I had to make a list of the things I needed to do that way that when I have an hour of, you know, my work time, it is so intentional that I get that done and it's not scrolling through Facebook or it's not, you know, um, in, you know, interruptions or anything like that. It is very intentional work time for my work. Just like if you were to go to a job, your job, you have to be intentional with it, right? Otherwise you're going to get fired. So same thing, like, even though you don't have a boss over your head, you got to have your work so intentional. So I would encourage you to write down, you know, six things that you need to do for your business or four things that you need to do for your business. Um, on my team, we coach five things. Um, and four of them are like income producing activities. So, um, those five things are number one is going to be your self development. Um, that's just, obviously it's, it's, you know, something that's going to lead you to success, but it's not like an income producing activity, but it's something that is so, so important. So we coach that self-development. The second thing is going to be posting. You guys, we're on social media. We do our business on social media, a lot of us. And so, um, posting is huge. Um, number two is going to, or number three is going to be growing your network. Okay. The, the larger your network is, the more people you have to work with, um, quality people, you know, you want to grow your, your network with quality people. Um, number four, you guys is building relationships. Number five is messaging people. Um, let's see, what did I say? I think I'm, oh yeah, that's fine. Cool. Can you yep. hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Self-development, self posting, growing your network, building relationships. And number five was messaging people. Yeah. Cause if you guys think about it, like if you were to do this business, if we didn't have social media, what would we do? We would go talk to people. Right. But since we do it through social media, messaging is how we talk to people. It's how we communicate. It's how we ask. Yeah. Yeah. So our talk about, let's talk about this. Um, P each piece of this really quickly, self-development. We've talked about posting. You show up big on social media. I mean, you show up every day in, on social media. And so what are some of your key, like the key components to posting for you? Yeah. So I always say like, okay, there's so many people, like I will tell you my network that I have, they, 
everybody probably has two or three other it works people in their network right so i want to be that person who's on their newsfeed i want to be that person who they see is consistent i want to be that person who they can go to my page and they see value they see um you know they see that they can come to my page and get just feel better i want to be that influence for them and so i do show up even if i am sick even if i'm on vacation even if it's christmas like i will literally you know, make a post about either the business, the products or something. Um, because again, I want to be that person who is so consistent and that my network that I have is influenced by me. And so, um, so posting is just something that I, you know, I do. And I talk about a lot, you know, about how this business has changed our lives what I want out of this business, how I can help other people. Um, you know, I talk about how these products are benefiting me, how these products are benefiting my customers and, you know, my clients, um, you know, how I feel with using them. I always talk about what, you know, about me, about, you know, what I love and I trickle in the business with it. Yeah. I love that. Um, now as far as growing your network, what does that look like to you? So when I first started, um, it, I mean, I literally started with probably 300 people on my Facebook. And so I remember I was like, and I just thought like, and I was coached pretty much by like YouTube, <laughs> like, you know, like I watched a lot of videos, uh, followed a lot of people. And so I, when I first started, I thought, okay, I'm going to go to my friends who are not it works people, but my friends on social media and I'm gonna to go to their friends list and I start adding their people to my friends list I started going to groups and just adding people from groups um, you know maybe I made a post in there I would add people who commented or you know I would just really try to add people in all avenues that I could think of I would go to um, things that I loved like I would go to pages and you know be a liked pages that I really liked you know, mom page, working out page, like fitness pages. Um, and if they had like a post that they did and they had 200 likes on that post, I would click on that like, and I would just add every little, every, you know, female to my, to my network. And that's how I did it a lot. Um, now I get a lot of my new people from, um, post to post. That's where I grow a lot of my network from. So I would say if you're new, I would say you can grow a lot of your network through host to post, which we could always talk about, but I would say also go into groups, go into, you know, um, things that you are so passionate about hobbies that you have and, you know, um, become friends with people in those groups that are just like you. Yeah, for sure. I, I love that. So quickly let's dive into host to post and how that's really, um, changing your business because on our team, we teach this too. So everyone's like probably like nodding because I'm always like host or post yeah. um, when we do giveaways and stuff. So talk about host to post and how it's really helped you. Cause that is that, do you feel like that's the bulk of this mass enrollment that you're run that you're in right now? Yeah. So probably for, so for a year and a half, I've been doing these host to post. And like I said, like my actions have never changed in the business, but my mindset changed, which gave us a huge run in our, on our team. Um, but also like introducing host to post into our business. And so um, host to post has just been amazing because what it is, is you're literally asking your network to make a post for you on their network. And so you're now you're introduced to their network. And so it's so nice because now you're killing two birds with one stone. Not only are you growing your network with their network, but now you have a person who's interested in your products or your business. So you have a potential. Right. And that's what this is, this business is about is to every day gain new potentials. Yep. And, um, yeah. And so that's what I do. Host to post has been so huge, but the thing is with host to post, you guys, you can't just do it one day. You can't just do it a couple days a week. You can't just do it here and there and think, man, well, it didn't work for me. It takes consistency just like any, anything else. Like the first month I did host to post, I didn't, my thing, you know, didn't get much change from it. The second month I got a little bit more. The third month I was like, holy smokes. I think that was in December, which in December, you guys, you know, they always say like, that's a busy month for people. Enrollments are as much. I remember December when I started doing this, I got 98 customers. And I remember I was like, man, I remember I wanted to get those last two. And I was like, nobody is answering me on New Year's Eve. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> so I ended 
December was 98. And ever since then, I was always so determined to getting over a hundred customers. And so again, you guys, it's just mindset and getting the work done because you know, you couldn't do it. You know, it's been done. So you guys can all do that. You guys can all get a hundred customers. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, but host to post is definitely a game changer because it does, it opens your network and now you have potentials on your list. Well, you know, uh, mom and I had a photo shoot on her birthday and our makeup artist is a professional in the, in the editorial world. And she was in Miami and she was doing a photo shoot for Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, and wow. she said, and there were of the, I think it was like 15 models. Two of them were professional models. The rest were influencers. Wow. They're even using influencers in their in modeling now because of the what it's doing in the world of social media. And I want you guys to realize that host to post is the same thing. You are simply asking people to brand wrap your product for you on social media and they're mostly do they're doing it for free anyways like they're doing you a favor even if there's not a giveaway attached if you were like hey would you do me a favor that's so easy and so companies out there today like that's how they're building their brand you look through Instagram Facebook big brands like Nike obviously Tommy Hilfiger they're getting influencers to promote their product so this is no different. So like, if you're not doing this, you're missing out because people want to show off. They want to be important. They want to say like, I've got something because that's the world of social media today. So step into the role of host to post and start trying. And I love Amanda that you said that it just didn't really work for you the first month. You had to build on that momentum, but I don't think anyone on this zoom tonight would complain about 98 loyal customers a month in the middle of December was so big. So I love that. Like, I just love that. I love that you said that. And I love the consistency part. Okay. So building relationships, what does that piece look like for you? So that is just, you know, interacting with your network. I'd like to obviously uh, such an easy way you guys send happy birthdays. I'll even send them through a messenger. Um, and just, you know, that way, not only are they getting it on their newsfeed, but also a message from me. Um, and so sending happy birthdays, commenting, but not just being like, oh, that's a cute sweater. Oh, I like your hair or, oh, cute kids. Like really be like, oh my goodness, your kids are so cute. How old are they? You know, or asking questions like, um, just, I think Alyssa said, like, you want it to always be six words, you know, and really like know your audience, like know what they like, know what they, you know, who's watching you, like all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, and that's probably the easiest part of all this is just building those relationships. Um, and so, you know, liking, commenting, you know, sh if they do a live video, like hop on it with them, you know, all that kind of stuff, just show up, have your face, your, your name, you know, be present in their newsfeed. That's, you know, the whole yeah. thing. So then they see your posts. Yeah. And they genuinely want you to ask them questions. Like yeah. most people you have to understand, like most people are like, Oh, you look so great. Oh, I love that outfit. But rarely does someone go, I love that outfit. Where did you get those pants? Yeah. I love that rug. Where is it from? Oh my gosh, your kids are so cute. Like you said, how old are they? Or, you know, what are their names? You know, just whatever. How did you come up with that? Just like really be thoughtful in your approach because I notice a huge difference even on like Instagram when I do that form of engagement it's like boom there it is they're right back giving me the same love and I, I, I there's a process to this like I remember when I started Amanda like all my suggested friends on Facebook were literally it works people I'm like this has to change and so once I started adding friends and engaging with them I immediately noticed my suggested friends started to shift to people that I didn't know. And so it is a process, you guys, but you've got to build that momentum in your business in order for you to see the big turnaround. So I love that. Um, messaging. Um, sorry, yeah, one thing that I like, because I would be like, gosh, I'm just seeing the same people on my newsfeed. So what I do now is each day when I have, like, say I have 10 minutes to do my interaction. I'll pick a letter of the day, just like we do our host to post. I'll pick letter A and just interact with like 
you know, people for, for 10 minutes, interact with people from letter A and then go to mark like the next day B. That way that you're not interacting with just the same people, but you're actually interacting with all of your network, you know? Cause I was like, I keep seeing the same people. I'm like, this has to change too. Yeah. I love that. That's really good. That's really good. That's a great tip. Um, this is a big piece messaging. This is one of those pieces that Amanda, I feel like all the other things are kind of behind the scenes. Like they can comment, they can kind of be stealth. They can like send a friend request, but this is a big piece to the puzzle. This is the part where you have to ask. This is the really true engagement piece. This is like the game changing portion. So what does messaging look like for you? So I, and people always ask me like, how many messages do you, like how many messages do you send out every day? I don't have a number I send out. I go until I have the amount of potentials I need on my list. So, because every day could be different. You could send out 30 messages, mm -hmm. you know, and have in one day and have only a couple people get back to you. And then the next day send out 30 messages and have more people get back to you. So that's just not consistent in my book. So for me, it's not the amount of messages I'm sending out. It's the amount of potentials I'm getting on my list every single day. And so if I don't have the number of potentials that I'm aiming for that day, I will continue sending messages out until I have enough potential customers and distributors on my list every day. Um, because that is how when you get that going and you're consistent with it every day, I guarantee every day you will sign up somebody. You will sign up multiple people. Um, and so asking people, I remember when I first started and Pam said this, she said, and it was on a live, but it was more with blitzing, but I use this when we're messaging as well. And she said, you never know that one person that you're standing right next to who you could either change their life or they could change your life. Mm -hmm. And I remember, and it was like when we were blitzing, that, that was always my, like, would get me over my fear about blitzing somebody because I was like, I ne you never know if this person's going to change my business. Mm -hmm. And so same with when you're messaging people. You never know who is on your friends list that if you message that one time, who could use your products, who could use this business. You know, you just never know um, who could use a friend or, you know, you just never know. And so I do not even blink when it comes to messaging. I will message everybody on my, on my list who I, you know, who is in my network, who likes or comments on my post, who views my stories, because the worst that they're going to say to you guys is no, you know, and if they say anything harsher than that, then you don't need them on your friend list anyway. So just delete them. But you guys, the worst that they're going to say is no. But the thing is, is a lot of those no's are not no, you know, to you personally. They're no, just not right now, or no, I don't have the money, or no, I'm just busy. You know, you just never know. And so yeah. um, I just, you know, I will message, and I will message people. Um, I will message my follow-ups. Like, that is just one thing I am not shy about, because that's the one that is the, that's like the meat. You know, you have to message if you can do all those other things and you'll get stuff here and there, but if you're not messaging, like you are doing a huge disservice to your, to your business and your, you know, your team and stuff. And so uh, messaging is just a huge thing. And you know, it's, it's a big part. It's probably what I spend most of my um, income producing activities on most right. of my time. So if you're messaging me, what were you going to say? What's my message? What am I, what's going to pop in my inbox from you? So there's a couple of things, a couple of different ways that I message. Um, one, I message for host to post. Like that's really what, if I'm sending a new message out, like, you know, to my new, like to people or whatever, um, every day I'm messaging for host to post. And so, and you know, it could be just like something like what Kay said, you just asking them a favor for it to do for you. Hey, I, you know, am going for a huge promotion this month. Would you do me a huge favor? Would you mind posting this post on your status and tag? in me in it, I will be so forever thankful. You know, you can even offer them. If I get one customer from it, I'll send you a free sample of our skin and coffee, you know, something like that. But do you know how many people love to help other people out? Like they will do that, you know, even if you don't offer them a sample. And so post to post is something I send out every single day. Um, the other thing I do is I do follow-ups. So obviously that's, that message is going to look a lot different. I follow up with my monthly follow-ups. And then I follow, so every day I have follow-ups. I follow up with my monthly follow-ups and then I follow up with everybody who is on like my calendar for that day. So I write, you know, their name down on my calendar. Um, so the, I follow up with the, or I message those people. So those are like the two, you know, main messages that I do every day. 
our host to host it. That, someone asked a unique question, and I thought, wow, it's an aha moment for me because they asked, what do you define a potential? And I think that's a really good question because sometimes, you know, I wouldn't even think of like a potential is to me is somebody who's, you know, a, a, a yes next week, a yes in two weeks, they're maybe interested, they've maybe said, oh, I'm, you know, just not ready to commit. So for you to find, to define a potential so that everyone can really understand what that looks like and how to, how to get that, you know, have that potential on that calendar. Yeah. So when, let's just say, for instance, like host to post, because we all do that or we're learning how to do that. Mm -hmm. So when I had somebody who, um, you know, commented on a host to post, automatically a potential. I send them a friend request and then I send them a message and then they go on my potentials list. And let's just say that we get to the price, right? And we all know we get to the price and like dead silent. They see it, but they don't respond, right? So I don't just stop there because they're a potential. You know that they want to lose weight or whatever the host of post is. You, let's just say weight. You know that they want to lose weight. You know that they're interested, but money just may be an issue they got busy with their kids like you never know so here's what I do I'm very persistent with my follow-ups I wouldn't say I'm like you know um like I'm just very I just make sure that I follow up with people because fortune is always in the follow-up so um I will message them within 24 hours if they have seen price and they didn't get back to me and I'll just message them and I'll follow up with them in 24 hours and I'll just say Hey Kay, is this something that you're interested in doing? You know, just something super simple. The worst that they're gonna say is no. The most likely they're gonna give you an answer and they're gonna say, yes I am, but I can't afford it right now. So then I'll say, okay, you know, I totally get it. Um, when are you thinking that you would like to do this? And I always try to get a date from them so I can put them on my calendar. And then if they're like, oh, the 15th, then I put them on my calendar. But then I also say, hey, would you be interested in getting some free products from me? Would you do a post to post? So then I ask them to do a host post for me. Um, sometimes I'll even, if I feel like they are so amazing at this business, I'll automatically jump into um, asking them about a distributor. But I typically ask them to do a host to post first. And then what I do is even if they get like two comments or likes on their host to post, I will like be so excited about it. I'll be like, oh my gosh, Kay, like you just got two comments on your host to post. Like you would be so amazing at what I do. Are you interested in making some extra money? I know you said money was tight. Like, you could use these products and make extra money. So I always try to, you know, I always get something out of my potential, whether it's a host of post, being a distributor, or just a potential on my list. Um, now, let's just say, like, they, we got to the price and they ignored me. And then in 24 hours, I say, hey, is this something that you're interested in doing? And they ignore that, too. I'll follow them up in a week. And I'll say, hey, Kay, I know that we talked about, you know, the weight loss coffee. Are you still interested in doing this? I'm offering my 40% off still. I can get you, you know, ordered if you're already. Um, and a lot of times, you know, they'll, they'll message me and they'll say, yes, I'm ready. Or no, I'm not. Here's the date. You know, I try to do that, get that date thing out of them again. If they still ignore me and they don't answer my question after a week, um, Sometimes I will ask them just a couple days later to do a host to post for me. And normally they'll message me back and say yes. But regardless, I put on my monthly follow-up list. So what I do, and I'm not the most organized person, you guys. And, um, but I'm like a messy organized person. But what I do is like I put like March. See, I have like March potential customers. I know this is my monthly like merch list. And so then what I could do, I put the date that I followed up with them, like, you know, or I'll highlight it after my month goes by. So everyone that I did in February, I'm now going back each day to follow up with them for my monthly follow up. And so when I keep them on my follow up, my monthly follow up list until one, they delete me or two, they completely tell me, stop messaging me, take me off your list. And then I take them off my list and I delete them. <laughs> Yeah, so. because until they tell you to, and sometimes you know this, just like we've experienced this, they still come back months later. Like you yeah. said, you had a burning reason why this had to work for you. You were like, I don't care that I feel shy. I have to make this work. Like I need a total life change. And 
always, you guys have to understand like people join the business or as a customer for the lifestyle change every single time. It's because there's something that they want to change about themselves physically, spiritually, you know, financially, there's always a reason. And so we want to be the first person they come to. So I, Amanda, I love this because they literally can't forget you now. Like you're always going to be the first person that they think of because of all this work that you're doing. And I want everyone to realize that this is, there's again, this is the momentum piece. Like, what do you want in your business? Because Amanda's clearly like, I want nothing but success. And she's doing everything she needs to do on a daily basis to get it. And I just love that. Amanda's such amazing tips. Um, I just love everything that you said. And I wanted to see if there was anything else. Um, oh yeah, I didn't want to forget. Okay, so now that you've done all this and you've got these 40 DTs and you've got this, these 100 loyal customers, I couldn't help but notice your fast start bonus post today, over a thousand dollars that you've already made in fast start bonuses. That's just so amazing. I think everyone needs to realize the piece to this, like if you've just gotten started for every distributor that you enroll, you can earn a hundred dollars when they get their two customers. And so Amanda, you've made sure that you haven't missed out on those fast start bonuses. That's such a big piece to this puzzle. Yeah, absolutely. So all of those 40 uh, distributors who um, we welcome to our team that I personally welcome team all more fast start qualified by the 28th of February. Um, so that's one thing I just never miss on. Like that's $99 bonus. You know? But on top of that, I always think like you are coaching your new distributor to success. Like you're coaching for you breast brought on, you're leading them to success. Um, I mean, those bonuses. Oh, you know? and so, um, I mean, 40 distributors coming in, like, for me, I was like, I didn't even realize how many distributors were coming in until I, like, until I counted them. And, um, and the reason is because I felt like I didn't have this huge, like, I felt like I wasn't, like, being crazy with it because I, I in implemented layer leadership so much, like, to the T. Even if it was a new distributor, um, they now are that leader, you know, they are now that co-sponsored new person and so I just throw people into that layer leadership and um, I will tell you like it has built so many strong legs because of that um, and so yeah I did bring 40 distributors but I will tell you like those 40 distributors they're being coached by other people now too they have a they we all have a tribe going on and so it's nice because oh is it stable again or is it cutting out there you are. There okay. You so I don't know what um, you guys didn't hear, but I was just saying like, oh, so normally you bring on 40 distributors and you're like, holy smokes, like how do I train 40 people? But it was their leadership that really kept us going. Everyone was, you know, faster qualified. Everyone is getting their four customers. Everyone is, you know, working together, really leading everyone who's new. And so that was a huge part of, you know, of getting everyone up and going. Question came in, what is layered leadership? So layered leadership is, um, so say for instance, I have pages, you just in my business, or say she is a Ruby in my business, okay? And I, I just brought in Sarah. And say placed, I gifted, you know, Sarah to K. I would then go to K, put K and Sarah in a group message, I would just say, hey, Sarah, I want to introduce you to your co-sponsor, Kay. She is here to lead, guide, and work alongside with you and I. You know, it's amazing. Like, you know, this is your business, but you're not on this business try. Like, just really um, create right then and there. Um, I really introduce them to their co-sponsor day two or day three. Um, and so now that person, you know, if I can't answer, you know, that's for people. I we lost her. Oops. You there, Amanda? Amanda, Amanda. Let's see if she comes back. Oh, this is so good, you guys. Isn't this so good? I'm so excited. So basically what she's doing is she's making sure that everyone is teamed up. 
so that you can build those rubies and those emeralds and those diamonds and having that mass amount of people coming in this business. Like you want that, you want that, you want that tight knit community so that everyone has the volume that they need, but also so that everyone has a support system, right? Like I love that so much and we utilize the same in our team too. And I just um, really wanted her to share that piece because you never, I never want you to feel like, you're in a state of overwhelm when you have a great team and support system, especially an amazing upline that can help you and guide you and lead you in the right direction. So I just want to encourage you from a leadership perspective that every piece of this, if you're brand new and you're like, what, <laughs> just make sure you're following your steps to success. Like the most important piece of this puzzle is that you are implementing these, I think these five tips that she gave you tonight on strategy are everything. And then that's like where you want to be. You want to be in that space. And then you want to make sure that your steps to success is complete, which is you've already joined. You want your four customers and you want to be moving in the direction of getting those three distributors on board so you can promote to Ruby as fast as possible. The foundation of our entire comp plan is built on building rubies. So once you understand Ruby, you understand Emerald, Diamond, double diamond all the way up to ambassador, our entire compensation plan is built on three legs alone. Three. That's like unheard of in the industry for how much income potential you have at each rank. And so I just want you to know you're in a really special, special, special place. And so the five steps are self-development, posting, growing your network, building relationships, and messaging. And so I will have this uh, recording on YouTube for you and I will get that to Amanda and have it right away so that you guys can re-listen if you need it. You can share it with your teams. So um, back are you back? Yay! <laughs> hey girl, I was just closing out. I, was, I don't know if you heard me. I was talking about just the five pieces that you gave tonight were everything. And then just to make sure that everybody brand new is focused on building through their steps that Ruby is the foundation of our comp plan anyway. So there's really no overwhelm. It's filling in that sheet. It's getting those three steps accomplished and teaching everybody on their team to do the same thing. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for having me. And if you have other questions, I would love to answer them. I, I really think we're complete. I feel complete. Okay. Um, you know, this last, just give everybody a last little nugget of wisdom from you. Like, they're in a special time in our company right now. Like what can you add to close the night out? Yeah, I would just say, you know, if you're new in this business, um, cause I know that there's a lot of new people on here. Um, you want to give yourself grace, you know, give yourself grace for learning this business and give yourself grace for, um, you know, it's going to take time for this business and have the mindset for all of us. Um, of longevity, you know, um, coming into this business and with like one toe in and thinking like, oh, well, I'm going to see if this works for me. You know, it's going to, it's, it's going to be hard to really get your business up and going, you know, compared to if you put both feet in and say, you know what, I'm going to see what this business does for me in a year. And I guarantee you guys, if you take these tips, if you do those five things, like that is all I do. And I told you like, I'm no different than you guys. Like do those five things every single day. Um, know why you are doing this business. Like what is the reason you are doing this business? And you know, it needs to be so strong that when you have those boulders thrown at you, when you have, you know, 10 people telling you no in a row that nothing is going to rattle you because you are so strong. And the reason why you're doing this business, that it doesn't matter that so many people are telling you no, it doesn't matter that it's going to take you, you know, a certain amount of time to get to where you are. I will tell you, like, if I would have quit the times that I was so rattled or, you know, I felt like my business wasn't going anywhere, I would still be working full time as a dental hygienist, you know? So the only way like that, you know, we don't get to our goals is if we quit. Like that's the only way that we're not going to get to our goals. It doesn't some, you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes us. Like it's just the thing is, is the journey that we go on, you know, the time that we give to our business, to ourselves. And so, you know, have your why so, so strong that, you know, nothing is going to stop you from getting, you know, to what you want. And so I'm just so excited for you. And I know like mindset, you guys is so key. Like if you are going for a promotion this month, literally write it down everywhere. 
say it to yourself, write it in a journal. And it doesn't matter how much volume you need. Like if look at that volume, be like, okay, it's going to happen. Like it's going to get done. And I promise you, like, if you put the work behind your mindset, you're going to, you're going to accomplish anything. So, so thank you so much. I know this is so perfect. Great timing. Just so excited for you and all of your success and just appreciate you so much taking time out of all of that to speak to all of us tonight. So I really appreciate you. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thank you for having me on. I feel like so fun. You're so welcome. Thank you for being on. It meant a lot to me and I know for the whole team. So thank you so much. Yeah, you guys are welcome. All right. All right, you guys. Yes. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for being on.